Someone recently asked what the best method for restoring symmetry to a closed curve would be in Modo. Um, so I thought I would take this opportunity to uh, do a quick demonstration of Modo's uh, B-spline edit form, which is sort of a hidden form, um, but it's all about dealing with curves and it has a special section uh, specifically for symmetry. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is press control spacebar to go into a front view and then I'll come over to the create side tab and I'll click on the B-spline edit form and I'm just going to start drawing out um, a basic shape. I'll just choose uh, a heart um, because it's symmetrical and everybody recognizes uh, what it is. Um, and I'm not trying to be too perfect at this point and um, you'll see that my first vertex or my first point and my last point are uh, off the central axis. So I, I really just want the first vertex to be uh, perfectly uh, set to zero. So I'll select that point or vertex and I'll come over to the vertex side tab and I'll come over to set position and I'll just make sure the value is zero uh, so that it is centered. Um, and then I'll press uh, three for polygons mode. I'll select this uh, B-spline curve. I'll press Alt-W to make sure I have an origin action center, and then Shift-V to enable um, the mirror generator. And then I'll click in the viewport, and uh, you'll see that we actually now have uh, the curve mirrored over. But these curves are two separate curves, and we want to combine them. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is select the central verts for each curve. So let me just make sure I have these and it actually says that it's already merged that might have been uh, an option of the mirror generator uh, just to be sure I'll come over to vertex and I'll choose uh, merge and it looks like it's already merged so the next step is to actually merge these two curves so I'll select this first curve shift select this second curve I'll come over to the polygon side tab and I'll choose merge and now we have a single curve here and if I want to close this up, I can come over to uh, the Create side tab. Uh, I can re-enable the B-spline tool. And if I click on Tool Properties and tear this off, you can see we have a closed option here. So I can close that. Also, if I change the mode from Edit to Add, I can now add uh, more points. So let's say I want a center point here. I can just click on this like so, um, just to make this a little bit more sharp. Now, you'll see at the moment uh, what I'm doing is actually uh, trying to get symmetry manually, which will never be perfect. Um, so I'm actually not even going to worry about the left side here, what this looks like. I'm only going to worry about um, the right side. So I'll try to get the right side as perfect as possible, and then I'll use uh, the symmetry tools of the B-spline edit form uh, to kind of get uh, perfect symmetry. Now also, this is a little bit of a um, shallow curve, so I'm going to try and make this a little bit sharper by pulling that point in a little bit more. And then I'll just do my best to make this as round as possible, like so. Okay, and I can always edit this uh, later. I'm really just trying to focus on the right side. Um, now, I wanna make sure that these two central points are perfectly centered. So again, I'll select both points and come over to vertex, set position, make sure that they're uh, zeroed on the X axis. And then I also wanna make sure that I have equal um, points on both the left and right side. So on the right side I have eight vertices and on the left side I have eight vertices. Um, so this should work. I'm going to uh, show you how to bring up the B-spline edit form. As I mentioned, it's kind of a hidden form. I'll first click on this black bar uh, to bring up my extra options uh, for the viewport side tabs. I'm going to focus on uh, this plus button here. Uh, this plus button corresponds to our um, right viewport here. If I hold Alt and Spacebar, uh, you'll see I can bring up the right viewport and uh, toggle its visibility. So as long as it's visible, I can change this from uh, the uh, procedural stack to properties to the preset browser. Uh, but if I click the plus button, uh, we have these hidden options here. So we have the option to create three custom buttons. I'll just make custom A uh, visible. And here is this uh, custom button right here. If I click on it, you can see we get a blank viewport here. Um, and it says none at the top. And if I right click on this none, nothing happens. But if I left click on this arrow here in the top right, 
and then come down to application, form view. Now, instead of saying none, it says form view. And if I right click on that, we get this option. And where it says exports, if I click on this drop down, we get all of these options. And I'm going to choose these. For me, it's the second B spline edit option. And here we have all of these options for editing um, our B spline. And in the symmetry section, we have something called grow ordered symmetry. So if I press one to go into vertex mode, I select the top middle uh, vertex. I can alternatively select the bottom uh, vertex. As long as it's the uh, middle vertex, I should be fine. And then I'll press shift up arrow to grow my selection. And if I now click on grow ordered symmetry with the axis set to X, because we have we want symmetry in the X axis, um, this will actually uh, symmetrize um, from positive to negative. Um, now, if I continue to grow my selection, it will just grow every vertex that I have highlighted. So this vertex here will be the, um, the kind of model that this vertex will follow after. Um, and I'll press shift up arrow one more time to make sure that these two verts match as well. And we don't want to select this last vertex uh, because this doesn't have a corresponding um, uh, kind of negative um, vertex. So once I click grow ordered symmetry, uh, now we have a perfectly symmetrical curve. So that was a lot of setup, but now that we uh, have that done, if I were to make a quick change, like if I were to change the shape in any way, uh, all I would have to do is press one, select this vert, shift up arrow to select what we want to uh, symmetrize, and then click grow ordered symmetry, and now we have that change. So once you have everything set up, it works pretty quickly. Um, and this also works really well if you uh, change the shape, if you add points. So if I bring up the tool properties and change the mode from edit to add, uh, if I were to add or remove verts, in this case I'll remove verts just to make this shape a little bit more streamlined. Uh, so now we have less points on the right side than we do on the left side. Uh, we only have seven vertices. Um, so the symmetry won't work. We'll have to delete uh, one of the points on the left. And now it's a simple case of Selecting the top vert, or in this case, I'll select the bottom vert just to show that it doesn't make a difference. Shift up arrow and grow ordered symmetry. And uh, what else is nice is that now that this is perfectly symmetrical, um, our symmetry options will work. So if I hold Alt and click on the symmetry button to bring up the symmetry popover and enable symmetry, uh, and then press T for element move, and then right click to change my um, element move uh, fall off, I can now just start manually uh, adjusting the heart shape and it'll actually change on both sides. And if I right click to bring up a big fall off, we can see if we can change uh, or make more broad changes with this. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, if anybody has any other suggestions for videos, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments.